Hi guys, my name is Jean-Pierre from FSI Panel. I would like to show you how to uh, use FSI Panel with the new Aerosoft A318 to A321, the new version, not the extended. I will show you how to use it and the procedure is the same whether you use the extended or the new version. You just have to be careful when you select your aircraft in FSI Panel. So to start with, if we have FSI Panel in view, when you import your aircraft, now you will have here, select the add-on, you will have the AS320. This is for the Aerosoft A318 to A321 new version. And then here you will have all your Airbus. Or you have the ASX320, which is for the 320 and 321 extended version only. And here you will find your 320s, 321. So be very careful when you create an aircraft here to choose the right version otherwise you will have trouble as well please delete all your airbus before using the new version so we start from scratch i had to uh, program everything again for aerosoft airbuses here okay so now here we are going to choose an aircraft so i will use let's put let's take an airbus a320 ei willing all right, so this is the aircraft I would like to fly today. So as always, very easy to create your scenario. We select the airport, so we'll try an ILS-14 in Zurich because we have a very nice weather this morning over there. Runway 14, and let's see, we're gonna, let's go on left and vectors at 3,300 feet. Let's have a look at the weather actual weather what do we have over there so let's see here what do we have 800 meters 600 meters all right let's take well let's take this one overcast 200 feet 4 degrees 1024 okay so we expect to have 800 meters visibility 4 degrees QNH 1024 and overcast at 200 feet 1120 so it's gonna be during the day so set weather and we are ready to go move aircraft I'm using P3D here, the procedure is exactly the same if you're using FSX. So here I will show you how to, to use um, the Airbus with FSI panel. This is a very important step, so follow carefully and see how you have to do it. When the aircraft is loaded, you have nothing to do here, just wait. My control, please stand by. So here we just wait. I will go here because this is the important step. You see here our thrust levers. So I'm ready to, to act here. We just wait for the time being. FSI panel is initializing everything. Now the window, a window will open. We don't touch anything, we just watch. And now you get here the message set or verify thrust lever to Airbus climb. So I will go here to Airbus climb. There is a click, that's it. Then you just sit and watch. Nothing to do, just wait. You see your modes are set correctly. And now we should get, we are on vectors, flaps one, speed 180, and we should be at 3,300 feet with the QNH at 1024. So now FSI panel is trimming your aircraft. Everything is done, now you can, you're ready to get the control, so what we do, we arm the approach and I release the pose and now I'm flying this approach and we are on the way to fly in Zurich. Intercepting now the localizer, you see the runway here. And we are 8 miles final. If we look in our FMC, what we can do quickly is set a minimum. So we're gonna, we will set a Cat 3A, a radio altimeter minimum of 50 feet, and we should have the approach of 134. Good. Localizer is captured, the glide stop is coming. I will go in manage mode. For the speed. And glide stop capture. Flaps 2.
set go around altitude, so initially in the rig 4000 feet gear down 1000 1000 arm the speed brake flap 3 flaps full now we see our flaps are full and if we look in our PFD we are getting close to 1000 feet coming stabilized all set 1000 right, so this is the way to use Airbus X extended or the new version of Airbus with FSI panel it is important to set your thrust lever to Airbus climb when you hear the click and you see physically that your thrust lever is exactly there at the climb that's it, then you can sit and watch and wait until you get the control and now we are ready for the landing, so we get ready for an auto land category 3A we have pretty bad weather as we've seen overcast at 200 feet, so it's just the minimum for a cat 1 let's see if we have the runway 400. ground contact 300 Approach light inside. 200. 100 above. 100. 70. 60. Minimum. Contact 40, landing. 30. 20. Retard. Retard. Five. Retard. Landing. Reverse. Manual braking. Autopilot off. And out of reverse. Okay, guys, if you have any questions for the Airbus, please post comments here on, the, uh, on YouTube or you can go on the forum and ask your question. I will reply. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Thank you.